Star Citizen has hit its biggest milestone to date. And yeah, it's it's pretty awesome, but it's such a weird thing. It is the biggest thing that was holding it back from being an MMO, which was basically net code and not having enough players around. I'm talking about server meshing. So server meshing is being tested with the Eva Carti currently. So the other weird thing is that only very few players are able to sort of experience this milestone at this stage. Soon it will go out to more people. Soon we'll be able to play it. Late, later this year, everyone hopefully will be like, wow, Star Citizen, server meshing, it's all in together. Sorry, I'm ranting a little bit. I've got no notes. I just, I just did a jump from Stanton to Pyro and then back again. A Hobbit's Tale. And this video is going to be more me sort of fanboying and ranting to about something that wasn't that visually pleasing, <laughs> I must admit. So uh, let me talk to you about my journey. We can talk about Evocardi builds now. So there's some testing on the preview build that's happening over the weekend and bam, I jumped on, spawned at Crusader and then on the star map I selected the Stanton Pyro jump point and then quantum traveled to that. And you come out near the station, which is pretty close to the actual jump point itself. It's in the sort of area. And yeah, I flew towards the jump point. Not entirely 100% sure what I had to do. I hadn't read the full patch notes, so I'd, I'd glanced at them, but it, there's quite a lot there going on and it's all new. So when you're close enough to the sort of actual wiggly woggly, wibbly portal thing, there's everything shows green and you can basically toggle your quantum travel you press B and then you'll um, sort of it will sort of spool up like you would be going to any other location. However, there's a load of info in the sort of top left of your screen going, uh, you're allowed to jump. It's spooling. It's you've, you've got time to go through now. It's uh, the, the portal's opening now. If you don't go through at the correct time, the <laughs> currently the way they handle that is they push you back. It basically yeets you backwards at like um, a thousand kilometers a second. And yeah. It's not great. Well, it's a very weird way of dealing with it. Um, so if you don't go through it at the correct time, you just got sort of slammed backwards. And when I was approaching, someone rammed me. Of course they did, because they got pelted away from the jump point. At the time, I was very grumpy about the whole experience. But uh, they, they got pelted away from it. I got hit. Bam. So I was in this Cutlass Red. Exploded. Got hit by another Cutlass Red. I came back with a Sabre, and I got Quantum Interdicted immediately. So after dealing with them getting even grumpier, um, I then flew to the sort of jump point again and flew towards the gate. And, and this is all very visually pleasing, this bit. So just flying towards the gate, seeing all these other people sort of gathered up and queuing and coming towards and flying through this portal um, is, is pretty interesting. But yeah, I, I went, bam, let's go through again. And um, waited until it basically said the port's opening um, on the sort of little bars and flew through it really quickly this time. And bam, it grabbed me and pulled me through. However, I went about 30 kilometers and then everything was dark. And I was like, oh, am I, am I in pyro? No, I was just on the other side of the sort of visual effect of the of the portal on, in the Stanton system still. And I was like, okay, so I can come back for a, another go. And uh, bam, this time went through, actually got through. And it was it was <laughs> an untextured wormhole. I could see I was in some sort of tunnel, and it was sort of like a grey purple sort of mess. But a few seconds later, I was in the pyro system. So why is this important? Okay, so well, it's because this is static server meshing, and there was people in the pyro system, people in the Stanton system, both on different servers. And then I transferred from the Stanton server to the pyro server. But I say those servers they're all still part of the same shard so it works it genuinely works now things that i did because i went back and forth a few times missions don't seem to carry over at all they sort of just get removed when you when you move between the zones it's basically you fail them but there was no hitching or anything like that like i was expecting um s something to go well, i'm obviously moving between um star systems and i can feel that mechanically um but no that it, it was pretty good um now at the moment, it just sort of pulls you in and just takes you to the different Stanton, Pyro, Pyro, Stanton um, sort of star system. But in the future, there might be some sort of mini game. There might be a bit more going on. It will certainly be more visual, visually pleasing than just grey. I'm not sure what other people's experiences of that are. And in the not too distant future, multiple servers will be 
um, they're for the same star system. So um, star systems will be made up of these multiple servers, not just one server to one star system. This is such a monumental sort of milestone that Star Citizen has now hit, and they will start iterating on this very rapidly. What's strange as well is it doesn't seem to be part of a 3.23 build. It seems to be basically in the 3.22.1 current sort of uh, build. And our clan and PM trying to push for 3.23 to have this sort of jump point between Pyro. It's possible. Um, it's much more likely to be a 4.0 thing, which would come um, after 3.23. 3.23 planned for an April release, 4.0 roughly planned for a summer release. But the thing here is that with server meshing realized, even at this stage, and actually being tested and functional to quite a high degree at the moment, it's the sky's the limit. Like, now, the sky's the limit, but CIG are trying to go into space. And this is the thing. How many people are we going to be able to get on each individual server? How many servers can be stitched together? And can we get effectively everyone across the world on the same mega server or is it going to be broken down by region how many how many sort of servers per region things like that say like servers shards per region that's the that's the thing climb here we're going to try and get as many people as they can in and if they can do that with some potentially like artificial ways of restricting entry to certain star systems at certain times and sort of increasing the the costs of taxes and and fees in areas that sort of disincentivize people to go there then maybe they'll be able to do it with dynamic server meshing in the future because dynamic server meshing is this next step beyond static server meshing where you go well actually any object container any ship any room um, any planet any area of space can become its own server or spin down and become part of another server so yeah it was a great feeling to be able to transfer between two different star systems. Um, again, you sort of get a bit of Eva Cardi fatigue for some of this stuff and sort of alpha fatigue where you're like, I'm really looking forward to all the visual effects and everything being there and it being a bit more ironed, but I'm not going to enjoy it so much when that does happen because I've already experienced it in its sort of raw um, buggy phase. It's sort of, it's taken a little bit of the luster away from that. I genuinely like to congratulate CIG for getting server meshing to some degree working and obviously it still needs a load more work and a load of polish and they're going to be iterating on it but it doesn't look like it's a 3.18 it doesn't look like it's all going to implode it has been a long time getting here but i think 2024 is the year for star citizen there is so much happening with 3.23 there is so much going on with 4.0 and server meshing and pyro and yeah it's exciting but i'm really interested to know what you think are you also excited by all this or is it sort of like uh, sort of irrelevant until it's actually in our hands that sort of tech demo when the Ivacardi are playing it are you an Ivacardi that's been wowed or not wowed because you're like oh, i was actually expecting quite a lot more do you think 2024 is the year for star citizen whatever your thoughts or questions i would love to hear from you in the comments below let me set you a riddle you have a fox a chicken and a sack of corn and you have to transport them from one side of the river to the other using a rowing boat. You can only carry one of these with you back and or forth. You can't leave the chicken and the fox together, that's mad, nor can the chicken be left with the grain, nor all three together without you. How do you do it? With nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Turn that bad boy on and just set your location to the other side of the river, done. Not only do you have all your wares, but also you can get around regional content blocks, have your data encrypted for more security. It's easy to toggle on and off. It's non-invasive. It helps you with other riddles as well. If a sphinx is asking you, what goes on four legs in the morning, two at noon, and three legs in the evening? NordVPN, get it now from the links below. Every month we have a giveaway for a ship, and for March we are giving away an Argo raft with persistent hangars, freight elevators, and hauling missions coming with Alpha 3.23. What better way to experience that type of gameplay than with your own hauler? All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of our videos made during the month. A single comment per video counts, so get involved with watching all my videos for more chances to win. There's more details in the description. Also, I won't ask you to contact me on Telegram or anything like that. This is my only YouTube account I will use to talk in my comments as well. Occasionally there are scammers about. I don't want people to get tricked.
a massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel, be that liking videos, commenting on them, sharing them. There are also people that go the extra mile. These are amazing people that become Patreons or use the join button under my YouTube videos to become channel members. You'll occasionally get some exclusive content, Discord roles and behind the scenes posts. It's those people with those memberships that allow us to make the daily Star Citizen content that we do. So please consider joining those awesome folks as well. Thank you for watching until the very end. It is genuinely appreciated and I hope you have a great March.